Hello YouTube, today we have uh, 2000, 2012 Ford Tours. We have the airbag light on, nothing else. So when you turn off the ignition, turn it back on. The airbag stay on, then when it comes to the cycle, that means there is no crash uh, stored in the module and then come back on after the rescan cycle. When we scan it in the diagnostic uh, scan tool, we have in the RCM B005 um, collapsible steering column deployment control, and we have the BCM B1000. So disregard the B1000, and that uh, is nothing wrong with the car. But B1000 most likely with Ford is a software issue and doesn't cause the check engine to come off. So if you have B1000 with your scan tool, disregard this code. Or when you check later on in your BCM software, you can do upgrade. If you have an online account using IDS. So as you can see, we don't have check engine light. We only have the, the airbag light. That's why we have uh, B005. Let's go in the module itself and read data stream. And let's say uh, front deployment collapse. So we don't have to read everything, but at least the one that we highlighted. Uh, go ahead and read it. So we have the the sensor collapse or steering column deployment control, 65 ohms and the other two is 3.15 so most likely this module is looking for uh, something between for my experience between 2, 2.5, 2 3 uh, ohms so and this sensor in order to take off that's going to be in the steering column sometimes nobody sell it by itself because it's very hard to take it out and everybody if you're buying a used, used, uh, used, to, uh, used to board you want to sell the whole steering column, it's easy. As you can see, we take the... <coughs> so before I make the video, I went ahead and I take some part out. So I take this cover off, which is the back cover. And that's, uh, I believe, seven millimeter or seven sixteen socket. And then you have to take the lower steering column cover off with the 732 uh, three screws this one right here and then you have to take the four screw that mounts the steering column in order to reach the sensor i will show you where the sensor right now so um, the top 10 socket and the lower one i already removed it back there and number three is back there i already removed it and number four is gonna be this uh let me get the camera to it yes this is number 10 back there and the sensor itself if you want to see it that's gonna be the yellow all right that's gonna be the yellow cable behind the steering column, this one. So, and it's very hard to reach it. And there is a plate on the top of it between the steering column and the dashboard. So it's the easy way that I find out to take this, the steering wheel column down and then take the top screws with the 20 torque and then take the, the sensor out. I'll try to pause the video and uh, I will show it to you when I take it out. Yep. Okay, so after we take the steering column down, you can wiggle it around, and you're gonna you're gonna take this top blade that's holding the sensor down with the four screw, twenty torque hex, this four screw, twenty torque, and you're gonna see the sensor back there. So I already took it out, so it fell down. Let me. Let me show you what it goes, so you're going to be careful when you remove it. 
current. There's the sensor. Let's slide back here. So after you release the sensor, just make sure this blade is not bent and all the way down. So for this sensor, in order to feel the the down position, and you still after that you're gonna have the right uh, ohms reading. Okay. So I take the sensor out, and uh, the best way when you remove it, just get a plier from the side and brace it and pull the sensor out will come out otherwise be careful don't break the block this block so you brace it from the side with a plier and you're gonna have the sensor up right away that's how it looks it's a simple look like the air brake so what happened is when this when you have like a bad uh, <laughs> A bad accident or very hard vibration to the sensor so this piece is pushed down and it show up right here so and this blade and the blade that's holding it it's looking for it's looking for this piece to come out this way so it will touch it and then give you the right ohm. So what I will do is for now, just a quick fix. Push this piece down until this red piece goes back up for his blunger. So when I push it, see that? So now it's pushed all the way up. So when I have it back in the steering column, this cover has to come right here. And uh, I will show you the result in the after that. I will pause the video, get it back on, and see how much it reads. And it could be a quick fix. Otherwise, go ahead and replace the sensor. And that's it. So. Okay. So uh, before I uh, I go ahead and order the new collapsible sensor, the the new one right here. I place a resistor two and a half ohm and which is give me two and a half ohm resistor and remember before it used to give me 65 ohm so if i uh, let it go if i go ahead and turn the switch off and remember <clears throat> when i place the resistor before i order the sensor i i don't have this two four two point five ohm so now the air back is off because I replaced the resistor. So, and now I go ahead and order the the new sensor. So to make sure that I'm going in the right place. So turn the ignition off, take the resistor that I place as a test. It's not, it's not a way best. I take it off, here you go. And now I should have the reading jump up to 65 in the collapsible steering column deployed. So 65 ohm. 65 ohm mean guys as we see in the other videos is 100% is, is open circuit so this four tours we have the front stage one which is a black black block over here in the in the storm column as you can see before in the other videos for the Mustang 2018 we have the same issue for the uh, stage one the black block and stage two is a yellow block over here and uh, uh what else so frontal driver is in cool all right the blame control and the collapsible 65. now i have the new one comes in and remember this is gonna be in the top of the steering column and make sure you're gonna have the blade let me get it to you guys because i'm not gonna get the video running while i'm installing it so just make sure this is gonna go over here. <clears throat> okay. Yep, this one right here. So make sure this is gonna be like this in the steering column. I will pause the video 
and uh, we should have the air light the airbag light off after that so what is it was a new sensor so yeah normally before i order the new bar to make sure i get the whatever the system uh, ohm resistance that it's looking for give it in place if i have the airbag light off that mean i go i go ahead and order the new boards all right i will uh, try it pause the video and uh, get this installed and get back to you okay guys so uh, i got the steering column back up from back there and make sure that when you have the 10 millimeter uh four screws you need a long reach uh wrench set so it's gonna be all the way that we, as I show you in the in the beginning of the video, and uh, now we have the sensor back in. After that, after we make sure everything is okay, we're gonna we're gonna have the front cover, steering wheel cover, and then the bottom one, as I show earlier today in the video, and uh, the back cover off. After after everything is it should be good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, switch ignition on and uh, our air light airbag light should be gone by now and uh, there you go now it's off let's go back to the reading and see how the collapsible collapsible is steering column deployed control is 2.3 before when it used to be an open circuit with a bad sensor it was 65 so we're gonna go ahead turn the Turn the car on, the car turn on, the airbag light is gone, just to make sure, off, on, there you go, just to make sure, there you go, so now we know how to troubleshoot the Lesbo uh, steering column deployed control, so uh, I hope this video help someone how to troubleshoot it and how to find it and how to remove it and install it and fix it so i'm gonna go ahead and get the front the top cover off so top cover on and the lower cover and then the the cover back there and we should be it so see you in the next, next video and i hope uh, this video you like it guys all right thank you